So a lot of people have seen these and know what they are. A lot of people don't, but pretty much everybody owns one. It's a refrigerator compressor. So I've seen inside before, but I thought maybe some of you guys haven't. So let's open it up and see what's inside. It comes in this really thick housing. I mean, it's it's probably eighth inch thick, um, walled. And it's, it's the upper and lower half and they kind of go together and then they weld all the way around. So what I've done is just cut through below the weld um, all the way around. The weld's right up here. This came up and wrapped around. So now all the way around. So we should be able to, and I think I got it freed up. And let's see if we can get in there. Oh yeah, there it goes. So almost immediately I can see what went wrong. It overheated. You have this, um, it's, it's a pump, you know, just like an air compressor, it pumps, but it pumps gas. You have an air intake right here where it pulls in the, uh, the refrigerant in a gas form and it's plastic, but you can see it's all melted around. It got way too hot and just melted this and more than likely pinched off the, um, the airflow and probably seized up the compress the, uh, the piston. Maybe let's see. Oh, no, it moves. Okay. The piston moves. You have two lines coming right here. One of them is just your your fill line. So they'll, this line will just come out and stub, and then they'll just pinch it off. So that's what they actually fill the, uh, the system up with. And then you'll have your intake line over here. And if you can see, it just, it just lets right into the body. So the refrigerant's just sitting all in this case right here in this little football dome area and then the this pulls in the gas and there's liquid in there too but it pulls in the gas and this has usually baffles up and down so the liquid falls out and it just keeps the gas the gas comes in here the motor compresses it there's almost like a stop so kind of goes and it stops and there it goes so i don't know it compresses it and then pushes it through this line back and forth, and then this line directly comes to here, pushes it out, and does the refrigeration. Now, everything, they don't want the vibrations to go through the whole refrigerator, so they have this entire unit mounted on rubber feet, generally always, and then this is on springs, this is on suspension itself, and then it's this huge cast iron piece, so that the piston moving back and forth, this is such a heavy piece, it doesn't jostle this too much, and they've went back and forth, with this line to allow it to flex for the life of the unit because this will just flex and flex and flex but to get it out we actually have to snip this line and now the entire unit besides the plug will come out and you can see electric motor oh now it spins, it spins actually pretty nice well a lot of these uh it's overheated to the point that it's um Ripped all the the lacing that keeps all the the wires together. Just ripped all those apart. And then we just got down there. We just got some nice springs that just sit in the uh, the same oil. And there's really no there's no debris really. There's a little bit of debris down there. But generally, what will happen is oil gets pulled up through here and gets flinged around and pushed up through this center hole right here and just splashes over everything and just lubricates the entire system. But let's take this off. This should just be plugged on in here. Yep, it's plugged in. And then we should be able to remove our air filter intake right here. Pry this off. Windings are crunchy. They got off as much as I could. Um, it's just completely melted into the windings, but it would just inlet into this hole. So this would be your inlet, and then this little hose is your outlet for the compressor. But we can take off the head. We'll see. Well, it should come undone. There we go. So it's just a little flapper valve. So the air comes in, the piston 
goes down, pulls air past this little flapper valve, and then it allows it to go out this other little hole. And there should be another reed valve in there as well. So I got the other piece off. And here's our other valve. And it's riveted on, so I drilled out the rivets to show you. And this right here, this big metal piece is just a limiter. So it doesn't let it flap up too high. And you just got this piece of stainless steel that just allows pressure to come in, but not go back out. So higher pressure will close it off. And so it just pressurizes in here and pressurizes down that hose. And this is all welded together. And this is just, just a hollow chamber. That's all this is. So we got our intake valve right here and our exhaust valve right here. And then we'll look at the piston. And then the piston just goes up and down. I don't think there's any rings or anything else on it. I think it's just a, just a tight, tight fit. So I got a strap down just lightly. It's not gonna be that torque cable motor. And then I will plug it in and I may need to kickstart it. So this isn't really fastened to the shaft, but this will just kind of give it some go. There it goes. On its own. And it's gonna burn out here. And we'll show you the piston. Piston. Yep, no rings. Just a smooth cast iron bore piece. Um, no bearings whatsoever. And this is just like a ball, so it allows it to go in any direction. So there's my little thumb sized piston. It's a tight fit. So now we'll just take the whole thing apart. I've got a couple of the bolts loose. I'm surprised they use these specialty heads. Um, it's kind of like a reverse Torx, um, an E. This one's an actually like an E12, but it's different. It's completely like a proprietary socket bolt. These, this is the closest thing that fits on them. So it'll allow me to get them apart. I'm just surprised they used that. If anybody knows what that's called. So, be able to take that apart. Yeah, we can't. It's fighting this stupid plastic piece still. There we go. So, just a motor. And how's the crankshaft put it? Oh, and the the motor's pressed on to the the crankshaft from this side. Nice scorch marks. Don't think it's the end of the line for this. I'm gonna turn this into a cool project, an air compressor. I'll put the link right here to an upcoming video so you can see this turn into something useful again. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to thumbs up. See you guys soon. Bye.